Today's scripture is from the book of Isaiah in chapter 1, and it talks about sacrifices, about blood and fat and lambs and goats, and about God wanting something, or more specifically, actually not wanting something. The text reads, it says, The multitude of your sacrifices, what are they to me, says the Lord? I have more than enough of birds offerings of rams and the fat of fattened animals. I have no pleasure in the blood of bulls and lambs and goats. So this uh, strange passage, which might seem um, weird to our modern ears, talks about sacrifices. And it's important to remember that in the time when this was written, the nations around Israel were bringing sacrifices to their gods. And the sacrificial system or their sacrificial system worked in a very specific way. It's basically a if then that system, right? So if we bring sacrifices, then the God will either bless us or not harm us. We can either get him to like us and give us gifts or just get him to like just not be angry. And what this passage teaches us about the God of Israel, Yahweh, is that he is different. He works in an upside down way. He does not need sacrifices. He doesn't care for them, in fact. The God is, our God is different. He doesn't care for that. He cares about our hearts. He cares about the way we are in the world. He cares about how we treat the widow and the orphan, how we treat the outsider and the stranger. That's what God cares about. God, our God, the God of the Bible, Yahweh, is not this formulaic God that you can manipulate with sacrifices and offerings and bargains. He is someone that wants to be in relationship with us and wants us to show up just as we are. And this is a completely upside down way to how the rest of the world understood gods and how the rest of the world today understands society. Everywhere we have to bring something so that we can get something back. But the God of the Bible is different. He's upside down. He is the one that makes the first move and invites us to open up our hearts and become his children to sit around his table.